Good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create. I hope everybody's doing well. We're going to get started on page three. Page three. Okay, so here we go. Garbage there. We have two flaps and a belly band for this page. So we're going to go left, right, and then a belly band in the center. And I created my flaps based on the design on the paper size wise so this is seven and one eighth I know which is unusual but that's the way the paper worked out by eight and you'll see why so this is where I split the paper I didn't want to be right on the frame I wanted to be a little bit past and that's why it's seven and one eighth by eight and you're going to score a half inch on the seven and one half one eighth inch side so that is going to be the left hand flap as you can see, I already added a magnet, so I don't forget, because I did all my cutting and planning yesterday. And I think on my last page, I made enough mistakes for the entire album. Okay, so it's going to go on the left side. Got a little bit of something stuck on the tape there. Okay, it's going flush. Okay, there we go. Um, I've mentioned this many times before, but I know I have some new viewers. When I attach um, a flap, what I like to do is press one side down and then use that as a pivot point until I see that it's completely flush. Then I glance over to make sure there's nothing sticking out on the other side. This flap is, turns out to be six and one eighth, six and one eighth. Score half inch on the six and one eighth inch side. Okay, here I go. There's my pivot point. And there it is, nice and flush. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is this is our top piece. This is from the 12 by 12 pack. And I'm going to place a white contrast sheet behind it if I can reach it there we go so I can see all my edges at one time there we go looks good let's go ahead and get that down I've already inked it I am using powder puffs which I love they um they work great on the paper I haven't really used them for stamps I use them to sort of knock off the white core on the paper but I really like them. I dropped this face down on my carpet and it really requires pressure to transfer the ink, um, which is not necessarily the case with some traditional ink pads, which are much stiffer. And um, like if you touch it at all without pressure, you still transfer ink. So that's one of the things I like about it. I like the way it colors, but also I like that it's not very messy. And when you're handling a lot of paper, uh, that's important because you, you have to worry about transfers. A uh, little less with black paper, very important with white paper. And when I say paper, I mean the cardstock that the, the base album is built on. It's not pretty. I like this picture. Anyway, there's this lovely little girl who's glancing up, and I really like this. Um, I just wish she was going this way. <laughs> so I'm probably going to wind up using her somewhere. I just don't know where yet. Okay. And then now let's go ahead and put the cover piece. That's inside. I think. No. Uh, yes. This is the other piece. Okay, so what I want to show you is this is the 12 by 12, right? And so this is where I split it, and this is going to get tucked under. So basically, I just made a 12-inch wide panel, 10 inches wide, or just under 10 inches. Use my contrast sheet again. Oh, never mind. I need to place my magnet first. So 
so here's my magnet. I just need to get some tape underneath it. place a little bit of glue over your tape so that when you put this down it doesn't instantly grab your tape um, and allows you a little bit of wiggle room while you center your design paper. Um, my label is long gone off my glue but this is art glitter glue which I highly recommend. Um, I really like it and um, unfortunately we can no longer get those glue tips in, um, but you can still buy them direct from the company, and it's Scrap, S-C-R-A-P-E-R-F-E-C-T, Scrap Perfect, uh, so you can still get them there. Pay mind, if you're going to, if you're going to buy them off their site, pay attention to the size, um, because the size is, uh, talks about this. So, um, this is the four ounce bottle. The smaller one is the two ounce bottle, and then uh, there's a there's a two, four, eight, sixteen ounce bottles of the um, art glitter glue, and all the caps are not universal. So pay attention to which one you're buying. I uh, I learned that with my last order, and this is the one that fits on the two ounce. So this part, the blue part, and the white from here on up is universal, but this uh, depends on the bottle you use. I uh, do so much scrapping that two ounces is too small for me. I go through it so fast, I feel like I'm always filling my bottle. So four ounces seems to be about perfect. Anything bigger than this, then it starts to get to be a, uh, heavy on the hands. So just a couple of tips, things to think about. Okay, now this should snap shut and it does. Well, it doesn't, yeah, there it was. There was enough grab there. Okay, now uh, for this part, we have a center belly band. The belly band is two and five eighths. Two and five eighths. Why did I do two and five eighths? I don't know. I'm sure it probably had to do with the size of the scrap or the. Here it is. The size of the designer paper that I happen to have. Yeah, because I didn't want to um, create a strip for no reason. So it is, what did I say, 2 and 5 eighths by 9, 2 and 5 eighths by 9. We're going to center it here, and I'm going to use my um, Tim Holtz ruler. You don't have to use Tim Holtz, but um, oops, 5 and 5. It has a zero point, makes it very easy. Of course, you know the halfway point between... 0 and 10 is 5, so you can do it with a traditional ruler as well. It helps when you have something that's not really an even number. So, Okay, so I'm going to line up that center point, this center point, erase it, and then decorate it. Again, what was that? Two and five eighths by nine. Score half inch on the top and the bottom. Either end of the long side. That's not right. I can see my center point's not right. Actually, way off. Why did how did I get so far off? Okay. 
that looks right. It's really not that significant because once everything's in here, you won't really notice. It's just a detail. And if you were off center, nobody would notice. So in my experience, if you're going to center something, you need to be precise. But if you're off one side or the other, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's when you're uh, an eighth inch or a quarter inch off the center that it looks like you made a mistake versus it being deliberate. Okay, now I just let it lay down on its own. Press it into place. And we're ready to start decorating the inside. Is that right? this way and this goes here okay let's go ahead and lay down the centerpiece so I hate it when I second guess myself but now I'm wondering if I like this better I do. I'm going to do that over. By the way, these are all 12 by 12s. I'm going to lay down this side. And I've done this like 10 times. <clears throat> now I'm starting to... Nope, oh, this is 8 by 8, sorry. These are, this is 8 by 8. Both sides, 8 by 8. I'm using two packs of the 8 by 8. That's why I had enough to do this. That's also why I decided to do a larger format. Because... I was using two packs. I knew I'd have enough paper to spread. Um, one eight by eight would be hard to do an eight by ten. You just run out of paper if you only use one. Yes, I like this better. <sighs> and then here's a belly band. Making sure everything is right side up, it is. I need to erase that. It's a really nice day here. I got up and watched the sun come up this morning. Sitting out on my porch with my pajamas and my coffee. Didn't need a... Okay, so that's A and that's B. Let me get my insert. So I went ahead and prepared this as the insert. So that's what's going to go behind the belly band. So let's see what looks best behind the belly band. I think I like the light color the best. So now let's make sure we're going the right direction. Which I'm not sure. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> make sure it fits under my belly band before I put glue on it. And it does. Again, everything was already inked. That saves quite a bit of time. The inking and the taping. That's why my videos um, are a little bit short and why you may find yourself pausing because I've already done that prep work. <clears throat> but that also helps me get my editing done a lot faster. And it makes my videos smaller so the upload time doesn't take forever. It's kind of a challenge with my husband working from home because he's always on Zoom calls. And that takes up all our bandwidth. 
seems like if anybody else is doing anything on our network, he gets uh, people start freezing on the screen. The natures of working from home. Oh my goodness. Hey you guys, um, this is page three. I've got page four and five already designed, so I'm going to try to get those in the can today. And I'm just giving you a heads up because if you have a paper collection that you'd like me like to see me do something with, get your uh, comment in over on our website, www.scrapandcreate.com. Of course, it needs to be a paper collection that we carry. And Julie will get uh, we'll consider, you know, the requests and try to meet the demand. So let me know what you guys would like to see, Nick. I'm not sure if you want to see another Christmas album or move out of the season, but let her know. So here we are, um, page three. So it opens uh, to the left, to the right, and then we've got this belly band in here. And the belly band is eight and a half by seven and a half, eight and a half by seven and a half so very large in the end if I have extra paper I'll cover the back but we're too early in the album for me to commit that large of a piece of paper to um, to the back side of an insert at the moment so and of course you can leave this side as decorative and the other side with photos but I actually chose this image because it seems perfect to put a picture right here so up to you it's sticking a little because this isn't a continuous uh, piece of paper so it's trying to get underneath that Oops, there we go once it's trained a little bit into into place it won't do that anymore so I'll just can burnish and burnish and burnish I'm gonna leave this open because there's a little bit of tack still from the glue but as you can see because I wiped it off do you see it I can't <clears throat> So that's one of the reasons uh, I'm a big fan of this, uh, this glue. Okay, I'll be back soon with page four and five.